Good evening and welcome to Cronkite News on Arizona PBS. I'm Megan Marples. If the 2020 presidential campaign is a marathon, President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden are starting the 26 mile. As both campaigns are stumping, millions of voters have already taken part in the political process. On Saturday, President Trump signed a new bill addressing missing and murdered Native Americans. The bill is known as Savannah's Act. The purpose of Savannah's Act is to strengthen ties between American Indian tribes and the federal government in an effort to solve and prevent crimes against Native Americans. Evacuations are now lifted after a wildfire broke out last night in Doney Park, northeast of Flagstaff. According to Coconino County authorities, the fire ignited on private property on the east side of State Route 89. Right now, Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden is leading President Donald Trump by nine points. That's according to a national poll by the New York Times and Siena College. This morning, Arizona health officials reported 864 new coronavirus cases and six additional deaths. Meanwhile, Cactus Shadows High School in Cave Creek has forced 100 students to quarantine off campus after some students tested positive for the virus. The records just keep on coming here in the Valley. Last week, we broke the record for the number of days above 100 degrees. The old record was 143 days sat back in 1989. We are now at 144 days. Only about a quarter of households on the Navajo Nation even have broadband internet. That's hampered not just schoolwork, but also access to telehealth during the pandemic. Navajo leaders hope to address that by dedicating some CARES Act funding to help residents get connected. In the studio, Megan Marples, Cronkite News.